Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IRT event in Chicago, Lombard, Illinois. This is a round of 32 match between Cole Sindri and Eric Cuevas. Two uh, junior players here battling, battling it out for a spot in the round of 16s. This is our first game, two serving two. Both of them real quick, real powerful. Cole leading this first game, three serving two. Still early, we're gonna see what kind of um, plan these guys come up with. Short serve on that right side. We're gonna go with a second serve. Almost, Cuevas. Nice shot by Cole. Three, oh, four serving two. If you're around the area, make sure you come down here to the glass court and watch these guys. It's unbelievable to see some of these pro athletes, especially these young guys battle it out. They're so fast. They have so much power. They're quick. Set up for Cole on the right side. He's going to go cross court. Nice get by Cuevas. Another shot. Another get. Set up off the back. Wow. What a diving get. Almost made the front wall. I liked uh, that step up from Cole being aggressive, you know, trying to cut that ball off. Uh, unfortunately, kind of hit the ceiling. Those are tough to cut off, but you know, still was able to hit a good shot. Cueva smart was keeping the Cole in the back, was able to get that side out. Two serving four in this first game. Cueva sliding up for the drive serve. Wow, what a nice return by Cole. You want to be really careful with those drives, especially if they hit that side wall first. You want to make sure they hit the back wall because when they hit the side wall, it kind of wraps around, gives uh, your opponent a big setup in the middle of the court. Short serve by Cole, second serve. Big shout out to everybody watching from home all over the world. These are some of the best players in the world. Wow, what a nice diving get. Set up for Cole. Go down that left side. Smart shot by Cuevas. Shoots it off the back wall. Cuevas misses the splat. Gonna get another setup here. Wow. Nice splat shot. I like the patience by Cuevas. Cole maybe a little bit too much, trying to shoot some uh, very difficult shots here from the back. And that's where you want to be a little careful too, you know, be patient. Kind of build up your, uh, your rally, wait for your opportunity. But at the same time, you want to be aggressive when you can. Set up for Cole, go left, left side. Good ceiling ball by Cuevas. Wow, big setup for Cole. Oof, close. That was that was a big setup for Cole. Eric Cuevas in the service box. Gonna go with the lob, high lob. Good shot, nice and calm. Eric Cuevas hit a really good serve. And it looks like he's gonna stick with that lob. Yeah, 
Nick serve to the left side. Ceiling ball by Cole. Comes down a little short. And we got four serving four in this first game. Ooh, almost made that between the legs. Good serves. I like uh, the power that Cole brings to the table. Sometimes I think he may go for shots that may be a little too difficult. Just sometimes, but you know, if he can get those down, this is gonna be this is gonna be really tough for Eric. Nah, oh. That was a smile. I would have loved to seen him cut that off. That was a smart move. Ended up just letting it go and uh, got caught up in the back. Point here for Eric Cuevas. Five serving four. Eric staying calm, making Cole shoot from the back, making some nice gets. Almost got that one. Great caught off by Cole. I like it. Cole's going to line up. Looks like for a drive Z, possibly. We're going to go left side. It's hit. We're going to replay that. Eric not set up enough to, uh, you know, look for an avoidable, so just a replay. Cole's going to stick with that drive. Set up off the back wall. Goes down the line. Good get by Eric. Another set up. Going to shoot. Cross court. Wow, what a nice down the line by Eric. Kind of falling back, stepping back, was able to, you know, get a nice racket on that and, and hit it down the line. Both of these guys are probably the youngest ones on the draw here at this event, Lombard, Illinois. Backhand set up for Eric. Nice and calm. Puts it down the line. Point for Eric Cueva. Six serving four. Set up off the back. That was nice down the line. I like the quick lob serves by Eric. Mixing it up. They're going left, going right, Z. I think he's really, really taking his time, thinking about what he's going to serve and making sure he's mixing it up, forcing Cole to come up and, and cut those balls off. Set up for Cole. Oh, it skips it. Point for Eric Cuevas. Eight serving, four. Eric sticking with the lobs. Mixing them up, mixing the height, mixing the the angles. And uh, he's looking solid. You know, I would love to see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Cole Sindri is going to take a timeout in this first game. We will take a timeout as well. We will be back here in just a few seconds on IRT Live. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in our round of 32 match here in Lombard, Illinois. The best players in the world gathered here. And right now you're watching uh, some of the future professionals here. No doubt if these guys, you know, can uh, stick around for a couple years, you can see you're looking at the next top, you know, players in the world. Very nice cutoff, backhand, aggressive from Cole. And if Cole can continue to put pressure on Cuevas, you know, cutting those serves off, even if it's not 
uh, full out swing aggressive. Even if he comes in, cuts it off, just goes to the ceiling. I think that's going to put a lot of pressure on Eric. Uh, maybe make him uh, switch up his serve a little bit. Skip ball by Cuevas. It's going to get Cole a point. Wow, nice shooting from the back. Deep and back, backhand down the line. Side out. Good lob serve. Smart ceiling ball. This is going to be tough. Going to go back up to the ceiling. Cole is going to shoot this. Misses the pinch a little bit, but was able to put this next one down. Side out. Four, serving nine in this first game. This is the round of 32s of the men's professional tour. Coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois. We are about 25 minutes from Chicago. So if you're in the area, Make sure you make your way down to the glass court and watch the best racquetball players in the world play this beautiful sport. Nick to the right side, cut off. Great cut off cross court, moves Eric all the way to the back, wasn't, wasn't able to get that ball back. Side out. Four serves nine. Great shot by Cuevas. Referee called two bounce. Get on Cole here in the back. And Cole's been stuck at four for a little bit here. These guys were battling at 4-4 four, four and Eric Cuevas was able to take off. 9-4. Let's see. What Cuevas comes up with here, high lob to the right. He's going to stick to that glass. Very dangerous. Gets a setup for Cuevas. Another tough shot for Cole. Smart, smart ceiling ball. Reset. Very nice cross court. Four serving nine. Cole's been in the box at least three times with no points scored. Looks like he's going to try and get a little bit more angle here on that drive. Went for the crack. Eric got it back at the setup he wanted and puts it down. That's the point that he really needed to get. He's, he was stuck at four for a while. Now gets point number five. Let's see if he can uh, you know, score a few more here and get on a little roll. Hold up by Cuevas, looking for the avoidable. Just a replay called by the referee. <laughs> Ceiling ball to the back, set up off the back wall. And Cole puts it down, down the line. Point number six for Cole Sendry. Six. Serving nine. Wow, it was good serve down the line. Called a screen by the referee. And I, I, I like it when these guys try to keep that ball close to the glass. It's a tough court here in Illinois. It's really easy to lose that ball on the glass. So anytime you can get it close like that, you know, can be a little bit, a little bit, a little dangerous. Set up off the back wall for Cuevas, leaves it up, set up for Cole, leaves it up. Gosh, hits, hits himself just a little too high. Notice that when the rally starts heating up and we have, you know, more than four or five shots, um, you know, players start to get a little desperate sometimes, and they. Uh, you know, they try to put the ball down and sometimes just end up leaving it high like that. You know, we saw three shots in that rally that were just 
setups that could have been points or side outs, and you know, the ball was left up. We're going to replay that rally. The, the score wasn't called by the referee, so we are going to do that over. Nine serving six. Good cut off by Cole. It's going to get a setup right in the middle of the court and puts it down. Smart shot. Short serve, real close. Second serve. Paul going with the Z. Great C, going to get that set up. Nice and easy. Pitch shot on that right side. Point for Cole. Sendry seven, serving nine now. Set up for Cuevas. Wow, put the down. Calm, relaxed. Trying to pump himself up a little bit here. He knows that Cole is sneaking up on him little by little. So he's got to score some points right here. Let's see what he comes up with. Looks like a Z serve. Oh, goes right side. This is going to be called unavoidable. You can see the frustration here from Cole. I thought that, that could have just been a replay. I mean, I think Eric had enough room to swing and kind of shoot, you know, almost any shot he wanted to. But, you know, referee calls it unavoidable. So that's going to be a point for Eric. Good get. Ball up in the front. Leaves, leaves the ball up, Eric. You know, I think both of these guys at times are just maybe trying to hit it just a little too hard, and that ball is flying off the back wall. So we got seven serving ten in this first game. This is the round of 32s of the men's professional tour. Coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois, the glass court. This court's been here for so many years. I think some of the best athletes have played on this court. Some of the best racquetball players in history have been here. So it's a legendary club. If you're in the area, make sure you come down here and watch these guys live because it's crazy to see how fast they can move, how fast the ball moves. The athleticism that these guys have, it's unbelievable. Nice serve. Are you going to get that Set up, goes right down the line. Smart shot. Cole was all over every other shot. Side out. Ten, serving seven. Skip ball. And I think this was a really important point right here for both of the players. You know, if, if Eric, which he did, was able to score that point, you know, puts him up on a four-point lead, getting him close to winning this first game. But if, if Cole would have been able to score one more point, then it puts that pressure on Eric, you know, where Cole is starting to come back, and he's right there. Nice shot, nice get. Set up for Cole in the backhand. Goes down the line, puts it down. Side out. Seven, serving 11. Still a really close game. Can't count any of these guys out right now. Short serve, that right side. Second serve for Cole. Great return. That Z kind of shot off the back wall a little bit, giving, uh, giving Eric a setup. Was able to get that side out. And Eric back in the box. 
Oof. I believe we're going to replay that. Cole kind of maybe looking for an avoidable there. Ah, could have been possible if he would have, you know, maybe been a little more aggressive maybe. But that was tough. That was a, that was a really good three wall uh, around the world shot. So we'll replay that. Short serve. I nick to the backhand. Cole, real nice cutoff. Splat kill. There's nothing Eric could have done there to get that ball back. Cole back in the service box. 7-11. Both of these guys have been stuck here for a little bit. Let's see who can score a point. That was a short serve. And Cole's been hitting that Z for a second serve, which is great. You know, nice. A uh, little bit of a pace. Still puts a lot of pressure, and there we go. Great second serve. Eight serving 11. It looks like... He's just going to go with the Z for the first. And I think that was called uh, an avoidable behind the back. Nice switch up. Gets the setup, puts it down. Smart, smart switch up by Cole. And Eric is now going to take a timeout. We will take out a timeout as well. We'll be back in just a few seconds here from uh, Chicago, Illinois. This is the IRT Live. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Here in this round of 32s, we got Eric Cuevas versus Cole Sindri. Both of these guys battling it out. It's a close, close game. We saw both of these players stuck at 5-5 five, five at one point. Eric was able to kind of take off um, and get to nine. But now we see Cole making his comeback. Only a few points away from tying this this game up this is the first game of the men's professional round of 32s and we're coming to you live here from Lombard Illinois the glass court legendary glass court short serve by Cole second serve we're gonna go with the Z great Z nice cut off to the ceiling set up for Cuevas puts it down nice splat shot Cole ceiling just just a hair short Eric was able to get a nice swing on that ball. Great timeout by Eric. Gets him back in the box. Looks like he's going to stick with the lob. Or no, maybe going for the drive. Short serve. High lob right. Cole's going to wait in the back for the ceiling ball. Eric going to shoot. A little risky. Wow. 
two bounces. A few opportunities for both players there on that rally. I think each one had two shots that they just, you know, left up. Um, Eric finally putting down that that last one. Gets him a point, a point that he really needed because he had been stuck at 11. And Cole slowly creeping back. Um, but we are at 12, serving nine now. Ooh. Eric, it's a ball to the to the body here. Kind of missed his jam serve a little bit. Uh, we're just going to replay that. Both of these guys, some of the youngest players on tour here right now. And you are looking at some of the best here in a few years. These guys are going to take over. They're going to be some of the best players in the world. Great cross court dies in the corner in the back. And as I was mentioning earlier, that glass you know, can play some tricks on you. So you really want to be careful for anything, any type of bounce that comes, especially from those corners. 13, serving nine. Great serve down that right side. And again, uses that glass, which I mentioned. It's a little tough. You can kind of lose it. 14, serving nine. And both of these guys, you know, different game styles. Um, Eric kind of you know, more patient, waits for his opportunities, hits a lot of ceiling balls, whereas Cole is super aggressive, and I like the power and brings everything to the table, even there when he's on his knees, but, you know, unfortunately misses that. Eric Cuevas takes this first game, and we'll be back here on IRT Live in just a few seconds. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility, and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marvel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois. This is the professional racquetball tour of round of 32 match between Eric Cuevas and Cole Sindri. Some of the youngest players on tour battling it out. Eric was able to get game number one, but this is a battle between both of these guys. You can see power versus finesse. Exciting match. And let's see what game number two brings. So Cole here outside of the court talking to his coach on the phone. See if we have some good tips for him. Eric just going to stick with this game plan. 
keep and call in the back, make him shoot from the back. Short serve. Good call by the referee. We're going with the second serve. If you are in the area, Lombard, Illinois, make your way down to the glass court. You'll get to see some of the best, well, the best players in the world are here from all over the world. It's unbelievable to see these guys play live. So if you are in the area, make your way down here. There's a great bar. You can you know, grab some drinks, watch some racquetball all weekend. A lot of great restaurants in the area. Paul with a Z. Leaves it off the back wall just enough for Eric to shoot. He's going to get another setup, Eric. Ah, uh, skips it. Those are the shots that you really want to take advantage of and not give your opponent any free points. We are going to replay that. Or actually not, not even a replay call. I thought, uh, thought Cole was was right there. I thought he could have got that. What do you guys think, everyone watching? We didn't see too much too much emotion from uh, from Cole, so he's just gonna take that call and you know leave it behind. Wow, nice serve from Cuevas. He's gonna get a setup. Goes again, back to that left side. Smart. Looks like he's uh, you know, really trying to keep Cole in the back, using those those corners, taking advantage of the glass. Good Z serve. Jumped up on call a little bit. And that gives Cuevas another point. He's going to stick with the drive serve. Wow. What a nice re-kill from his knees. Side out. Cole in the box now. One serving two. He's going to bring the drive serve, the power. like the switch of the angle. Short serve. Drive Z for the second serve. Oh, no. He just went straight down the left side. Set up off the back wall. Backhand set up. Puts it down, down the line. Two, serving two. Game number two. Eric Cuevas took game number one. Jam went for the crack almost. Uh, hit, hit a little short. I like how Cole is switching up the angles on every single serve. Even on his second serve. You know, he's switching it up, switching it up. Keeping uh, Eric guessing in the back. And another point for Cole. This is the first time Cole has uh, been up this whole match. Let's see if uh, he can uh, stay uh, <coughs> stay aggressive and stay scoring points. Backhand set up for Cole. Oh, Eric gets the ball back. Another shot. Oh, almost went for that same exact shot that we saw earlier from the knees kill shot. It's a little tough. But that's, you know, that's that's Cole game, Cole's game. He likes to be aggressive even when he's on the floor, even when he's on his knees. I mean, we saw a few dive, uh, <laughs> diving re-kill shots earlier. Um, and, you know, if, if you can make those shots, it just puts so much more pressure on your opponent. You know, you're not only just getting the ball, but then you're shooting it. So lots of pressure. Eric Cuevas down two. 2-3 in the second game. Wow, what a nice re-kill. I thought that was a pretty good serve. 
real powerful. But Cole was able to step over and hit a nice splat kill shot. Cole missed that Z serve a little bit. Ended up coming off the back wall first, and you know, that gives Eric a uh, setup. And Eric's been shooting those lines pretty well right down the glass. Cole's going to shoot this from back. Both players missing two setups there, just leaving the ball up a tiny bit on those pinches. with the drive serve here. Powerful right down the line and there was a call by the referee. Not sure what the call was. And another one. I think the call on both of those serves was a foot fault. And that's a side out, and also Cole getting a warning here from the referee for, uh, you know, just having a little talk with him. Eric going with the nice diving get. Set up. Oof. Cole hit that ball with his left hand just right before he took the swing. And I think that was a, that was a big, big setup for him. Could have got him the side out. But now Eric here with another point and we're stuck at 3-3 great diving get skip ball though by Cole and Cole may be getting just just a little frustrated with that you know he he um he got some calls that didn't go his way from the referee then you know got that uh oh, short serve Um, then ended up making that mistake with his left hand, you know, hitting the ball on uh, on a setup. Um, so we'll see how he can handle this right here. Nice aggressive cutoff. He's going to go for it again. Wow, nice reverse pinch from the back. That was a really tough shot. Really tough shot. Short serve. Second serve for Cole. Down by one point. Let's see what serve he decides to do here. High nick to backhand. Great serve. He's going to shoot that again from way deep. Puts it down. Tying it up now at four, serving four in this first game. ball Eric Cuevas, you know staying calm waiting for his opportunities to shoot moving call around but you don't want to be too calm against Cole you know he can uh, he can catch fire at times and get on a roll of kill shots like we've seen earlier you know he's able to hit two perfect splat shots from 38 feet Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Here we go. Nice ceiling ball. Another almost set up on the back, and that's exactly what I was talking about. You know, nice kill shot. That's his third one from way deep in the back. Tied up here, ladies and gentlemen. Four serving four. This is the men's professional racquetball tour. Round of 32s. Tomorrow, we start with a round of 16. So winner of this match will move on and play tomorrow. So these are some of the youngest players on tour right now. And, you know, I can say you're 
definitely looking at some of the best here in, in a few years. These guys, I have no doubt in my mind that they're gonna be in the top 10. Skip ball, free point for Cole. Eric in the service box. If you are in the area, Lombard, Chicago, anywhere in Illinois, make sure you make your way down here to the glass court. There's going to be some amazing racquetball here all weekend. The best players from all around the world are gathered here. And if you've never seen racquetball live, this is your opportunity. The ball is moving so fast. These guys are moving so fast and swinging so hard. It's crazy. We go mid Z to the right side. Eric with the ceiling ball. Cole's gonna shoot. Wow, nice shot. Nice, really, really nice get. Three wall. Perfect ceiling ball by Cole. Set up for Cole again. Wow, look at that reverse pinch. I thought the ball was good. Referee calls the ball good. And Cole here at 7-4 now was able to get ahead for the first time. Well, ahead, you know, more than more than one point. So he's up. Seven, serving four. Let's see if he can stay with it and push this to a third game. Eric going back to the lob. Decided to go away from that drive. Nice get, nice and calm by Cole, I like it. Back in the box. Oh, big opportunity there for Cole. But I like how Cole was able to search his game up a little bit. I think he was just trying to be a, just a hair too aggressive earlier in this match, maybe trying to take too many offensive shots when they were a little difficult. You know, in the second game, you know, he's just kind of taking his time a little bit, hitting the right shot, still being aggressive, but, you know, not as much as he was earlier in, uh, when we saw him play game, game number one. It's working in his favor. You know, he's putting the ball down. He had some great kill shots from, from the back. A little miss there on that cutoff. And Eric, you know, starting to get a little bit of confidence here. Scores a point. Five serving seven. Still a really close game. Great lob serve to that right. Gets it close to the wall. Set up for Eric. And I think that's where Cole kind of missed that ball on the glass. This court is extremely tough to play on. Um, you know, it's... Uh, Pretty much a fishbowl. You got glass all around you, and the reflection of the lights, and and it's just really tough when you lose that on the glass. But these guys are doing great. Doesn't even look like it's bothering them too much. Just at times. Ah, Cole left that setup a little bit. Maybe just going for too much on that reverse pinch. Had a clean down the line that he could have taken advantage of, maybe for a side out, but. Wow, great, great comeback here from Eric. I would love to see, you know, just Cole maybe cut this off or just, there you go, just, you know, something nice and easy like that it can work in your favor. There's the setup, skip ball. You know, as I mentioned earlier, it's uh, even when you come in and cut that ball off, even if you're not aggressive, if you just hit a ceiling ball like Cole did earlier, you know, was able to get the setup, and that just puts just enough pressure on your opponent. 
you know, and uh, that may make your opponent, you know, just change his serve or, or do something different. So you don't always necessarily have to come in, cut that off, and, and, and take a full swing. You know, can go to the ceiling. Nice ceiling. Sometimes it's, it's a great aggressive shot. What a, what a backhand kill shot by Cuevas. And Cuevas was able to come back. He was down 7-4. Makes the comeback here. Up 9-7 now. And it kind of looks like he went back to uh, to some of his game that he was using in, in game number one. You know, just uh, sticking with the lob, mixing it up, not going for too much, waiting for his opportunity, just like that, keeping Cole in the back, making him shoot. He knows Cole's going to shoot from the back and waits for his setup. Missed it a little bit. Set up for Cole, leaves it up. We got a long rally going on here. Wow, goes again for that reverse pinch. <laughs> All the way from the back, right side. That's a tough shot. Really tough shot. If you miss that shot, you're in trouble. Because Eric is going to step up right in center court. He's going to have any shot that he wants. So if you're going to shoot that, better make sure it's down, just like it was earlier. All right, side out, seven serving nine. Little towel break here. It's a good opportunity for Cole to kind of think about what he's going to serve. Maybe calm down a little bit. Plan out his attack here. Young guy Cole here, only 18 years old. Wow. Nice diving get, nice rally, lots of nice gets here. And Eric puts it down. That's the first time I've seen someone hit that on, on the fly into the back glass. I think we're probably gonna need another towel timeout here. These guys are all over the court, making some unbelievable gets. As I, said, as I said earlier, if you're not here and if and if you're in the area, make sure you make your way down to the glass court in Lombard, Illinois. It's a great facility. Looks like it used to be an all racquetball club earlier in the day, and they still love racquetball. They still support racquetball. There's a great bar here if you want to get some drinks, you know, come watch some racquetball. Best players in the world are here, and you're going to see some amazing, amazing racquetball all weekend. High lob, right side. Cole's going to cut it off. Oh, missed it just by a hair. And you can see the frustration from Cole. He knew that was a that was a setup, uh, and he missed it. That's going to get Eric another point. Putting him at 10, serving 7. Very similar to game number 1. Setup off the sidewall. Set up for Cole again. Leaves the pinch up a little bit. Nice. I like that none of these guys stop for that. And Cole was able to kind of box Eric out and take a shot. Drive serve from Cole. Right side, great serve. Great return. Great return. Maybe just uh, Cole, maybe just going for a little too much on that backhand. But he had a great serve on that right side. I like it. I like how Cole was able to use that glass. Side out. Cuevas switching it up to the drive serve. Going left side, ceiling ball set up. Wow. <laughs> and that was that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, these guys are especially Cole, you know, he can he can do that. He can 
take a dive and re-kill and take a full swing. And if he starts making those shots, it just puts so much pressure on you. And I think Eric thought that rally was over, so almost kind of just stood there, didn't really get ready for that next shot. Drive serve, left side, good ceiling ball by Eric. Cole's going to the ceiling. Another good ceiling ball. Cole's going to shoot. Misses that pinch shot. It's a little frustrated. Those are tough. You know, it's tough to shoot from way in the back and, you know, try to make that perfect shot. Eric is going to take a timeout here. Eric's going to take a timeout. We will take a timeout as well. We'll be back in just a few minutes here on IRT Live. I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back here. This is our round of 32's men's professional tour. Coming to you live from Lombard, Illinois, we have Eric Cuevas taking in Cole Sendry. This is our second game. Eric leads game number two. He was able to get game number one under his belt. But Cole putting up a fight here. Game number two. Eric with the serve. Smart timeout, even, even though he's on the lead. He wants to finish this off before Cole can get on a run. Nice, high lob. Cole's gonna cut that off. Eric misses it just by a hair. Nice aggressive cut off by Cole. We'll get him back in the service box. It's seven serving 10. Good drive serve down the right, but there's a, there's a call here by the referee. Looks like a possible foot fault, which he was, uh, Cole was called on that earlier. Misses the backhand. Eric pumping himself up. Gonna stick with that high lob to the right side. Wow, great cutoff. I think Cole kind of lost that in the glass a little bit. Smart play by Eric. He knows that he needs to make Cole shoot from the back, and that's looks like that his that's his game plan. He's hitting high lobs that are tough to cut off. And during the rally, if he doesn't have a setup, you know, he's just taking his time, going to the ceiling, going to the ceiling. It doesn't matter if the rally is, you know, 10 shots long. He's going to make Cole shoot from the back. High lob, we'll be close to that glass. Nice ceiling ball by Cole. We got a ceiling ball rally here. Set up for Eric Clevis, leaves his pinch up a little bit. Off the back wall set up, another set up for Cole. Let's see who can put it down first. Top shot from the back, off the back wall. Great get. And this is gonna be called an avoidable. A little frustration here from Cole.
point for Cuevas. 12 serving 7. Nice patience by Cuevas. Looks like he's got a good plan going on here. Keep and call in the back, waiting for his opportunity. And when he does, you know, he's putting the ball down. So it's it's tough. There's not much you can do against that, you know. Cole here is going to take a timeout. And we will take a timeout as well. We'll be back in just a few minutes here on IRT Live. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here after the timeout by Cole Sendry. Wow, what a nice get. Rekill dive from Cole. That's like the fifth time he's done that this game. And that rally, you were able, you, if, you, if you notice, if you've been watching the whole game, Cole took a little bit of a step back from being so aggressive. You know, he hit a nice, came in, cut that ball off uh, on the on the serve, hit a nice ceiling ball, kind of waited for his opportunity. I mean, Eric, you know, hit a perfect shot, but Cole was right there able to get that, had the presence of mind to be able to dive and re-kill that. That's so tough. Side out here. 7, 13, still not too late. Never too late for Cole. Let's see if he can get on a roll. He's not too far from Eric. Nice drive serve. Left side. Gets his opportunity. Oh, a little bit of a lucky bounce there for Eric. I think he put some spin on that. Cole was waiting for that ball to go to the left side. Would have been a big setup for him. Uh, but Eric got a little lucky with that corner. Thanks for everyone that's online right now, tuning in, watching the best racquetball players in the world. And we're live, come to you from uh, Lombard, Illinois, just about 25 minutes from downtown Chicago. So if you're in the area, make sure you come down to the glass court and watch some of these guys. It's unbelievable, the skills that they bring to the table. Great serve right over the line. It's going to take this off the back wall. Set up for Eric Cuevas. Nice and easy, puts it down, left corner. And this is going to be Eric's first match point. And I think he's probably already thinking about round of 16s, but you know, he needs to close this out first. Let's see what he comes up with here, drive serve. Clevis down the line, gets a set up off the back wall, leaves up his pinch a little bit. Cole, aggressive. Wow. What a nice turn. Here we go. This is going to be a little dangerous setup for Cuevas. Misses another pitch. Oh, wow. That was a great diving get. Just missed it by a hair. And Eric Cuevas moves on to the round of 16s. Look at him. Thank you to the sponsors. And that will do it for us tonight. That was our last match for tonight. If if you're around tomorrow in the area or if you want to watch some great racquetball, make sure you tune in. We're going to have some great matches all day long, all weekend long, here from Lombard, Illinois. This is Momo Zalata signing out. We'll see you guys tomorrow.